Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a low carb for noodle with beef stew soup and this soup is so rich in flavor and tasty, yummy. We'll go ahead and look at the ingredient and get the cooking started. The night before, I prepare all the beef, the rib and the shoulder blade, put it into the crock pot and add enough water to cover all the beef so that it will cook evenly. All right, so I add two lemongrass and then cover the lid up. I will set the crock pot on high heat or the mode on high and set for 8 hours or overnight. This is in the morning. I did check but um, not tender enough the way I want so I did leave it for another 2 hours for on low mode. So now the beef is really tender and soft. Look at the beef, it's so tender, juicy, and that looks so delicious already. And now I will pull all the meat out from the bone. After I debone the meat, I will shred it or cut cut it into smaller pieces so that it will be easier to eat it. So I will continue until I finish with all the beef. I will strain some of the broth that I stew the beef overnight to make the noodle soup or full soup. The broth is about 6 to 8 cups. I will use one slice of dry galanga in there. And this is how it looks like. If you have the fresh galanga, that's even better. And I will add one tablespoon um, instant beef flavor paste in there into the broth. This will make the broth taste um, really good. I'm at about one and a, one and a half tablespoon the instant beef flavor paste into the broth. Half teaspoon mushroom seasoning, half teaspoon salt. And give it a stir. It's perfect. The flavor, the umami, the mm, perfect. Once you put it into the noodle, if you want more flavor, you can add more fish sauce, salt, um, any seasoning that you like. But for now, the soup is perfect. The flavor is pretty good right now. Well, here are the ingredients that I'm going to make my noodle soup or pho with beef stew. So here are the low carb pasta zero that I bought from Walmart and you can use this if you want a low carb noodle or you can eat the regular uh, pho noodle. So first of all I will add some meat in there. 
This is the tendon that I do, and it's so soft and look like almost like jelly consistent. I will add the broth in there. For the pasta zero noodle here, I take it out from the package and I rinse it with water and then put into the bowl with a little bit of water to cover the noodle and then microwave for two minutes to warm up the noodle. Assemble all together here. And the herbs here I have, um, I have some basil, sweet basil, um, some mint, some chopped green onion and some chopped cilantro and some fresh green chili pepper that I picked from my garden. If you eat full, you have to have the basil and that go really well with the full noodle. And then the mint. I'll add a little bit more broth in there. Okay. I will add some fried onion in here. Add a little bit of dry chili pepper flake in there. If you don't like it, you just give it black pepper to taste. Also some ground chili and garlic in oil here. And then a slice of fresh lemon juice squeeze in there. Some red chili pepper on top of this. This is how it looks like. So beautiful and delicious. I will stir it and then mix everything together and I will Give it a taste. If still something that is not enough, and then I will add more to it. All right, let's mix everything together and see how our noodle, the flavor, tastes like. If you want to add shrimp, meatball, anything you any meat that you like, you can add to that. But today I will just use this stew beef or pour apart beef here so good time to taste it let me see i think i will add a little bit more lemon and i'll add a little bit of oyster sauce about quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon fish sauce, quarter teaspoon golden mountain sauce. Let me see here. Mm, it's perfect now. So good. All right, so now time to eat our low-carb noodle with beef stew or 
four part beef that we that I stew overnight. And let's eat it. I can't believe how easy it is to make. Uh, you can prepare the beef uh, overnight if you don't have time. You like the night before, you can put into the crock pot or instant pot for pressure cooker or for a slow cook for overnight. And then in the morning, or at, then you can have a really delicious stew beef with noodle you can use the regular full noodle or any noodle of your choice but today i just want to do a low carb noodle it's better than take out or better than the one at the restaurant especially when you made it fresh at home all the beef are so tender and juicy if you would like some vegetable to go with it you can like have some lettuce so i hope you enjoy my recipe and if you have any question post a comment down below and i will answer any question for you before you leave please don't forget to subscribe and like share comment and i would greatly appreciate all your support and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy your full noodle and i will see you next time bye